I am happy to confirm that our government is proceeding with another uh, smart pledge. And I have directed uh, the Chief of Defense Staff to move forward on the Aviation Task Force to the United Nations mission in Mali. The task force will include two Chinook helicopters, which will provide much needed transport and logistics capability, as well as four armed Griffin helicopters for armed escort and protection. The deployment will come with a number of troops from the Canadian Armed Forces who will facilitate medical evacuations for troops on the ground and provide logistical support for that mission. And General Vance is working with our partners to define the mission requirements for the, uh, uh, for the ATF. The Canadian Armed Forces will also conduct reconnaissance and execute mission planning and mission specific training and pre prepare for the necessary aircraft and equipment. This process is underway and, uh, and talks have begun with the United Nations to determine an appropriate uh, deployment date. We look forward to deploying uh, the Air Task Force once this process is completed. So ladies and gentlemen, today's announcement of the Air Task Force to Mali is yet another example of our government's commitment to engaging the world. Whether it's leading a uh, NATO, uh, NATO multinational battle group in Latvia, providing military training in Ukraine, or contributing critical assets to the United Nations peace operations as we have announced today. today. And Canada continues to lead on a global peace and security. And with that, I open up to questions. Thank you.